welcome back to my channel it's quay with quay beauties and i am back with another video for those who do not, who do not know this is um life of a lash tech where i am a lash tech here in atlanta georgia and i do lashes brows lip injections and other things and on this channel we talk about business how to get money how to um, manifest and how to you know make ourselves and our lives much easier with business but in today's video first we're going to talk about the moolah i see y'all like talk about money so today we're going to actually talk about um how much i made 2020 this year today is december 1st and we're going to go over the numbers for the year so first i'm going to pull up my acuity i'm also going to screen record so you guys are going to be able to see this as well first we gotta go to the acuity app and i have to go ahead and log in Now that we're all locked in, here's the main page. We need to go to the reports page. And the, go to the revenue. Once we're at the revenue, this is how much I made in December. We need to know only for 2020. So I scroll up and go to 2020 and click show. As you can see, it says $72,751. So we take this number and that is what my business made. But me personally, how much did I make? I have to take that number and then times it by 0. 0.20. I made 14550 I'm really a broke B. But my business made 72751 Yay! So this year, 2020, I made over... 70k that 70k does not even include like some of some squeezing appointments i have we were shut down for a couple weeks i was shut down during a pandemic um you know like 70k just doing lashes lips and brows so um although i did make that much money how did i do it actually not although how did i end up doing that well i always believe that whatever you want to do you set your okay let me rewind i believe you set yourself up by writing down your goals at the very beginning of the year of how much you want to make where you see yourself and what you like want to do what you want to accomplish that whole you know year so now is december 1st today and i want to just go over to you guys so you guys can have a 30-day head start as far as um how to write your goals down your goals down so here's an example of mine. This was for 2020. Next year, next month, we'll be entering 2021. And I'm going to do the same thing for my 2021 goals, but I'm going to do them before December is out. I'm really going to do them on December 1st so I can get like a little practice into January. But this is from last year of my goals. And also, these are kind of personal to me. So, this is my personal goals. My goal may not be the same as your goal. Your goal may not be the same as my goal. These are goals that I want to accomplish within my own personal self, within my business, and within me. So, I'm inviting you guys to my personal space. So, here we go. This is what it looks like. I write it, um, I write it all down, and I cross them out as the year comes. So, I write at the top 2020 goals. And then I also, when, when you write your goals down, because you don't always want to be, be about work, work, work. You also want to be about, like, yourself. And then, like, as far as spiritual, what I want to do within my personal self, within my business, some things I want to get paid off, some things I want to start, and things like that. So, I'm just going to go over my business. So, here are, like, my business. This is, like, personal. This is probably, like, debt. This is probably, like, personal as well. But these are some other things. So... My goal was to accumulate 500,000. <laughs> I accumulated a little over 70, but 500 was what I originally wrote down. Got to put them on work next year. Some other things that I've added to my personal goal board is like um, adding services such as lip blush and lash, lips, body sculpting. I wanted to get me a, bit, a building. Uh, I wanted to get my esthetician license radio interviews, Airbnb business, get insurance. I want to pay off my car for my personal goals. I want to pay off my car, um, build business credit, 
that's still kind of business but build business credit i wanted to um pay off some of the debt that i, I mean pay off some of the debt i have from debt collectors or whatever i want to raise my credit score move into a high rise and then some of my personal 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 goals are like attend a wedding um building a better relationship with god daily affirmations meditating walking into a multi-million dollar house you know visit some states i want to go to new york city colorado kansas arkansas utah everything now these are my yearly goals this is everything i want to do for the year but sometimes it's like i want to do this and get this accomplished um throughout the year and as you can see some of the things have been crossed off because i have actually did done those things i feel like i probably done about probably about 70 percent of these goals i didn't like walk into a multi-million dollar house i didn't add some of the services uh, you know, but some things I can still do as far as um, attend some seminars and walking into that million dollar house. You never know. So this is my board and I write it for the year. This is what sets me up for the year. On your board, your board may say something that's similar to mine, but instead of accumulating 500,000, you may want to accumulate a million and you can do that. Just write it down and work hard for it. After you have write your, your yearly goes down, that sets you up for your monthly that also sets you up for your weekly, and that also sets you up for your daily. So, how do we do that? That's my yearly. I didn't have no intentions on doing this in this video, but I'm also going to show you my monthly. Because my yearly, to help me accomplish my yearly, I have to do my monthly. So, this is what my monthly goes look. I'm going to just flip the camera so y'all can see. Here you can see a glimpse of my 2020 monthly goals this is actually for october november and december i just compiled it all things that i want to do before the year is over and i started in october i wrote this out in october and now it is december now that we are in the last month of december i want to make sure that i crush these last goals and one of them also says 2021 goal board to make sure i get that done um also your monthly these up to your weekly what you gotta do for the week what do i have to do for the week you're gonna write and go and look at your monthly and be like oh i can do that i can do that i can do that i can do that i can knock them on down this week and then when you figure out the day monday come what do i gotta do today like what are i'm bored what, what do i gotta do that's when you go back to your your weekly goals and be like okay i can i can get some of these done for that day next thing you know you done did everything on this board, all from minim all from maximizing it to yearly, all the way to minimize it to what you gotta do today. Okay. Also, um, this is a little another one to go into half. This is something called a vision board. A vision board is basically like overall, this is how I vision my life. So I want to have power, nice house travel you know delicious food rolex perfume fendi prada nice swimming pools traveling this is how my business my when i get classes i want them to be packed out like that uh oh what's this it's a little folded but this is how i see me and my family my relationship my family it is not only it is not only business it is also so you can see Woo. It is not only business, but it's personal too. Sometimes we can get so worked up in business and worked up on lashes and worked up on this and worked up on that that we forget about our personal self. We forget to be a sister. We forget to be a friend. We forget to be a girlfriend. We forget to be a wife. We forget to be all these things because we're too busy trying to be a business owner. So I encourage you to write your goals down for 2021. I want to see them. I want you to comment them. And if at least just comment one or two goals that you may have. Um, it could be something so simple, but that's something that's so, I mean, actually, no, your goal can't be so simple, but your goal could be something so large when you write them down, it could be so large to the point you have no, absolutely no idea. How are you going to accomplish them? I promise you, you're making you, you know, you had this big picture. Then you put that little big picture in little pieces, start from the little pieces, and then you end up getting that big picture. Okay. I also encourage everyone to get them a little book. I have several here. One, um, 
here's another like i have a couple of these little books i have a journal i have you know a to do this is my everyday to-do list of what i need to do every day like i literally make a list for every day when i have to do something every day these are just to-do lists to do for that day so i encourage everybody especially your business owner you got to you got to give yourself goals. You got to give yourself something to hold yourself accountable for. So why not? So make sure you guys get you some goal boards. We seeing what we made for the year. Hopefully next year I could be making like my 500K, 200K. But whatever you want to do, I promise you, you want to make sure you set yourself up this month in December. So when, you, when January 2021 roll around, you already know what you want to do. Um, despite COVID, despite the presidency, despite, you know, everything that's been going on on the world, you still have to live your life and you still have to do things that you, you know, want to do. You still have to accomplish your goal. You still have to pay bills. You still got to wake up in the morning. You still have to do all these things. So why not still write your goals down and still aim for the things that you want to accomplish? All right. So in the next video, I want to see some of them goals. And I also see that you guys actually like talk about money and how much I made. I posted up all these videos. And I ain't getting no likes, no comments. I ain't getting nothing like my video here. So if you haven't seen this video, make sure y'all go watch it. But best believe, since y'all like to talk about the money, how much I make, how I get it, how y'all can get it, how we can like get it together. Yeah, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment. Till next time, peace.